Okay, so now you are calculating the probability of occurrence of each possible next state by taking action A in a state S. Okay, so we are not following any deterministic policy that uh, if we take an action A in a state S, then we will get only this particular state. No, we are not following that. We are calculate. We are assuming that the state S dash, the probability of occurrence of each possible state as does as result of taking action a in a state s has some probability okay so this is the probability of state as dash given you are taking action a in a state s so we sum all these terms okay and now we also want to incorporate the probability of taking action a in a state s since we are following a policy pi therefore we cannot arbitrarily select any action in a given state we will have to select the action A according to our policy that is policy pi okay so this is our second ex expression and already mentioned uh, we are explicitly defining that we took an action A that is AT in a state S that is ST okay so now we need to incorporate the probability of selecting each possible action in the present state S okay so this already mentioned there could be any possible action in, a, in that state Hence, we will have to consider all possible action and the probability of taking each action under the policy pi since we are following the policy pi. So we cannot arbitrarily choose any given action. Okay. So therefore, lambda denotes summation of all A belonging to A. S. This A of S denotes the set of all possible actions in a state S. This A or that capital A are the same thing. Okay. So this is summation of all A belonging to A of S pi s comma a. this denotes the probability of selecting action a in a state s okay so basically your theta denotes summation of all s s p a s s dash and your lambda denotes summation of all a belonging to a of s pi s comma a so now here's a complete mathematical expression for your policy pi that is a state value function for your policy pi so this is v pi s is summation of all a belonging to a pi s comma a multiply by summation of all s dash belonging to s p a s s dash times r s s dash plus gamma times v pi s dash now how this v pi s dash came into picture so basically v pi is expected return under policy pi given a state s t is s so this we can write in this form summation of all k gamma k r t plus k plus 1 given a state s t is equals to s okay so now analyze this equation only this part of the equation this is not t plus k plus 1 this is t plus k plus 2 okay r t plus k plus 2 r of t plus k plus 2 so analyze so compare this part with this part what you will find that this is representing the v pi of s dash that is a state value function of a state s t plus 1 so this is the final expression v pi of s is summation of all a belonging to a of s pi s comma a summation of all, all s dash p a s s dash times r a s s dash plus gamma times v pi of s dash that is state value function of next state s t plus 1 okay so this can be expressed as we are explicitly mentioning the that the next state is s dash but since we are finding the expected return we'll have to consider all the possible next state and the probability of occurrence of each and we will sum all those expressions so we are doing this thing and now we are explicitly mentioning this action a so now we will have to consider each possible action in a state s so we are multiplying it with this term so this whole thing represents the expected return this is known as the state value function for your policy pi so this was all for this lecture thank you for watching this lecture i, I hope you enjoyed this lecture thank you